there's one thing to say and always be. What's up, Saiyan Army? So, before we get this video started, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. You guys probably asked me like 20 times if I was gonna play this and download it. And the answer is yes, I finally did. Here's my character, little ninja Saiyan looking dude. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already knew this. So if you guys aren't, make sure to follow me on Instagram at GokuFlex. So what is my review for the game so far? I've only been playing it for a couple of days. It's really damn fun. They follow the storyline for the Dragon Ball Z, like, or a similar storyline. And the fighting is a lot of fun. Um, I would definitely recommend it. The PC version, what I'm noticing, like, before this video, I was going to show you guys a clip of me playing the game. But the servers are down, so the PC version seems to be a little bit buggy. It seems to be better on like the Xbox and PS4. Also, I think the controllers would be easier to use for this game rather than the keyboard. That's just my personal preference. But, and I don't know how the multiplayer game thing works yet, because I know you guys are all going to ask about that next. Anyways, let's get to the topic of this video. Deloads. So this was my deload week. The goal for this deload was to let my shoulder rest. As you guys know, I've been fighting some shoulder impingement, so I didn't want to do any pressing. So this is a pull workout that I did, back and biceps. So first off, what is a deload? Deload is maybe like a fancy word to call it active rest. Okay, It's when you take a week or more, typically it's about a week off from lifting, and you're training at about 60 to 70 percent of your normal training numbers. So you're training relatively light. So how often do people deload? Typically it's every 6 to 12 weeks depending on your training, depending on really how much volume and how heavy you're pushing the numbers, you know? If you're constantly going, you know, 80-90% in your, in your totals for a lot of reps and a lot of sets, then chances are you're going to have to deload more than others. For me, with my routine right now, I notice I have to deload every training cycle and I feel like I'm dying by the time I get to the end, like the 10 sets of 3, I feel like my body definitely wants to deload, which is a good feeling because I know I'm pushing it and I know I'm growing. So how to know whether you should deload? So one, your CNS is going to feel shot, um, two, your recovery time is going to take a lot longer so you're going to be sore all the time, and three, um, your joints might ache, okay, just because of all the grinding and you know, Lifting weights can be hard on your joints, so it's good to give it time to rest a little bit. So don't be confused with being like a pussy or being too tired from life, okay? Like I know there's a lot of people who work like desk jobs and they may be too like, just too tired from just looking at the computer all day. And there's a huge difference between being mentally tired and physically tired, okay? So also if you're starting a new routine, I know a lot of my new clients, when they jump on my routine just because my volume is a little bit higher than theirs or the frequency may be higher, um, they experience, you know, <clears throat> lots of DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness, and they're very sore and tired the next day. So if you're starting a new routine, this is all normal stuff because your body has to acclimate to the new training stimulus you're putting your body under. So that's all normal, okay? So to be honest guys, up to like four or five years ago, I didn't even know what a deload was. So my version of a deload back then, like my first five years into training was taking a day off here, taking a day off there, and I would never take like a whole week off. For me, I love training too much to stay away from the gym for more than two days. And that's just me personally. So my version was maybe take a day off here and there and that's it. Also keep in mind my you know, my frequency wasn't nearly as high as it is today. So, are deloads mandatory? I'm gonna say no. But if you're feeling, you know, achy or something, if you have like a tendonitis and you wanna give it a week off, if you have some kind of pain or some kind of soreness or anything, then deloads are definitely recommended. It's Keep in mind guys, this is something I learned the hard way. We're all in this game. To live forever like you when you see those guys at the gym that are 60 70 years old and they still look amazing and they're still killing the weights they may not be killing heavy weights but they're still killing the weights and they look amazing they look better than majority of the people in the gym 
that's who you want to be. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that's who I want to be. And probably that's who you guys want to be as well. So keep in mind that we're in this for the long run. Don't be afraid to take a deload a week, you know. I know 60 to 70% isn't fun because it's not heavy, but it's a good time to work on technique, work on form, and just work on speed and just get you mentally ready for the next upcoming week. So hope this video helped. See you guys in the next video. Much love, Allah. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!